Hi everyone, and welcome to this special episode of the Newman Bond Podcast. Today we're hearing from the class of 2023 on their advice for new or current Newman students. Here's what they had to say. Okay, my advice definitely would be um, go out there and try things on campus. Like, I was thinking of just my freshman year, just staying in my room, you know, just trying to crunch in, study all night long. But, you know, burnout can happen pretty quick, so it helps to have, like, different avenues, different extracurricular activities that you could do and find people that not only are within your major, but, like, are also doing, like, those things as well outside of it. So I would say go out there, explore, try new things, find different avenues, find a way to bring yourself out of your shell, I would say, and grow more as a person, you know? I mean, when it comes to Newman, like, what are we all about? Like, empowering graduates to transform society. So one way of doing that, I would say, is for sure going out and trying um, something out of your own comfort zone. Find a friend to help you study. <laughs> That's what you have to do. <laughs> yeah. To try to get involved as much as you can because being involved is going to help you a lot. Try to take as many classes, like different subjects as you can, just to like figure out what your interests are. The first advice I would give to them is to fully embrace really the Newman experience. By that I mean kind of whether they're Catholic or not, I would encourage them to really seek to live out the mission of Newman, which is really um, to form minds and, and souls and, 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 and hearts, right? And not just to make it an academic experience. I would tell incoming students to be more involved on campus because that's how you make long-lasting um, friendships and it's just more fun to be in college and having friends so don't, especially for the science students, like don't stay in your room all day and study because it's not worth it. Like go out and have fun and enjoy your life a little bit. Finding your people, like by that I mean just people who have the same feelings, desires, like the same goals as you and just make a community here. Don't be alone, like I know it's hard, like for me it's really hard to be far away from my family, but you can create another family every time, like every new place you go to. So I would recommend like just meeting people and spending time with them. I'd say actually like take time to enjoy what you're learning instead of just working your way through it and like trying to get the best grades and moving on like actually focus on what you're learning because um, it's all really interesting stuff so um, I think one of the things I underestimated throughout uh, my time here at Newman was having a sense of community outside the house of formation um, the house formation is my priority really but also I've made so many friends this year, of course, of all years, um, that it's like, dang, I wish this could have lasted longer. I wish I would have known this person three years ago um, like I know them now. And so that has been a bit of a sadness, but also, hey, at least I got to know them now. And that's what's really mattered. And that, yeah, that, that's been a beautiful experience. And so I would say, you know, find, find a community to be a part of. Um, I think campus ministry is a really easy way to start. Um, it's very welcoming. There's just, yeah, there's, it's very easy to just go in and sit on the couch and hang out for 45 minutes while you should be reading and, you know, yeah. But finding a community is really important. My biggest tip for college kids would be don't, don't be afraid to ask for help. I think, especially when we're all young adults, we kind of want to learn how to figure things out for ourselves and do things ourselves, but as I've learned, even adults ask for help sometimes, and it's not a bad thing to do. So for the students who are in the program, what I can tell them, spend time studying and have a close relationship with the teachers because they will guide them. I remember when I was kind of struggling, I had to, to go to my teachers and they're willing to help you to become successful. If you're doubting yourself, you just have to prove yourself wrong day in, day again. Just get up, keep going. Even if you fail a test or you feel like you're not capable of doing it, I promise that you can do it and you can get through it. If you just take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, one minute at a time, you will survive. Um, don't procrastinate until the night before. 
I would just remind them that, you know, it may get challenging at times, um, but just to keep going. And everyone has the potential to um, succeed here. Uh, Newman really cares about their students, so just don't ever give up. For sure, like, take all the psychology classes that you can. Like, uh, uh, one particular class was abnormal psychology with Professor Smith. <laughs> that was a huge class. I felt like I really learned and like I got into depth of like what is psychology, not just like the mind. I feel like a lot of people just assume it was like there's more to like psychology than just like reading minds, I guess you can say. But yeah, it was, I would say just enjoy the courses and just enjoy the professors and seek help because they're, they're willing to help you. And, you know, they want you to be successful perfect answer and for you what was your experience like in the interdisciplinary um, studies I was program? the same too um, I didn't plan on doing interdisciplinary studies I wanted to do education um, but going into it it was nice because I got to pick two focuses and that's usually a program that people don't really know what they want to do with their future so I feel like it was very helpful and you know it even led me to um, <laughs> um, what I wanted to like what I want to pursue after teaching which has become a principal so it was really nice. I feel like the professors here really care about you. And my advisor was the best, Teresa Wilkerson. She was the best. And I don't know, they made it a fun experience and they made learning, they really, you could tell that they really cared about our education and like learning the material rather than just assigning homework and just, yeah. You know, one of the nice things about Newman is that it, it does ha give you the ability to pace yourself at your own pace. You can either um, go at it really fast and get it knocked out in a very short period of time as a full-time student or you can take it a little bit slower as a part-time student and there is a variability that will kind of fit any schedule and um, I think that's a that's a big selling point and a big advantage to the program. You know, I started this program part-time and finished it full-time and it was one of the smartest moves that I made because I didn't push myself too hard you get into the program and you're overwhelmed, there's so much going on, you're able to kind of ease into the program. And then this last year, I really, I had the privilege to be able to go full time. Uh, practicum isn't paid, so like I didn't have, I didn't have to work, personally worry about the finances. So I was able to put that focus there. But I would say one of the biggest piece of pieces of advice is don't feel like you have to push yourself to finish it in a year or two years. I would have to second that. I did part-time all the way through. So I work full-time, which is 42 plus hours a week. I have a house, I have dogs, I have a car, I have responsibilities. And so if I could give any advice, it would be to not rush it and to take it all in, to soak it in because you're working full-time. And then also you have this, which is required a lot of you. It's, it, it's a lot. So that, if I could give any suggestion, it would be that. Just to take your time and allow it to soak in and enjoy the moment. Um, I would say don't be afraid to do the things that are hard. You know, don't expect yourself to have a hard time. Go into school and then classes and every experience that you have expecting to do well and expecting to be successful. And once you expect enough of that from yourself, eventually it's going to happen and everything's going to fall into place. I think the biggest advice I would say is to go for it. Uh, don't be scared just because you think you're older and you think you're not going to learn anything or really uh, get much of an experience, you will. The professors, they help you out with so much. Um, I would have to say as well is to never be afraid to communicate when you do need the help and to always reach out for help. Um, that would be my advice. I would say to just keep going. I mean, it can get a little tough. It, it will get a little tough, but if you keep pushing, you'll get through it. And as soon as you know it, you'll be done and you'll look back and think to yourself, how did I, how did I accomplish this? But, you know, we're here, so. I would say really lean on one another. Um, there's so much information to learn, especially in the nursing program. And some people have a higher, I guess, educational area and other areas so to be able to you know pick at their brain and see what they can teach you to help you remember different areas in your studies is definitely what helps me definitely get involved with everything that you can um, talk to people don't just go to class and leave I would say like try to make friends find people that you want to study with um, yeah just be friendly and talk to everyone uh, just enjoy it. It flies by. It's really cliche to say, but it's very true. So enjoy it. Um, make memories. Make friends. It makes the experience a lot, a lot better. <laughs>
Uh, ask questions, ask lots of questions, uh, go to our office hours, uh, even just to go hang out and talk because there's always something. Developing a closer relationship, it'll always help you just in general and in life. Um, I do a little side business and me and her kind of working on that. And so just being in those classes and being engaged too. When you, sh when you show you're engaged, it takes a whole lot of pressure off and uh, they're more, you, you just pick more up and it's just a way better experience when you're in actually engaged in the classes. Yeah, same thing goes for Dr. Straub. You know, he would tell us every single time after we would go into his office for a grade check or anything, he would say, you know, come in, talk to me, whatever you need. He's like, I want to be a mentor in life, period, not just in school. So I think going in, asking questions, building a relationship, like Asher said, with your advisors is very key to your success in college. You just have to decide you're going to do it, find a way to grind it out. There's no balance day to day, but you find balances, you know, maybe month to month. Uh, you just, and if you look in bigger windows, you can find balance. So give a little here, take a little there, and I think that's my advice: is you just really have to want it because it is a, a tough grind, but it's worth it. I'm an online-only student. Um, I did the, you know, my degree is in organizational leadership. So really, it's just about taking the time that you need. You're going to have to take it from other places. Um, I also work full time. I have a family. But uh, it's really just about taking the time. You're going to have to take the time. You have to take it from other places. But it's worth it once you get through it. It is tough. It's going to be a long journey. But it's so worth it in the end to finally get what you've been dreaming of. Yeah, I would advise them to um, do a tour, to uh, see the place, see the classrooms. And uh, I hope they feel the same thing I felt, like the support and feel like my my another home i i love i spend my entire day over there <laughs> study yes studying because they they have like very it's a good, very good environment and uh if you if you met the professors the instructors and the staff the administrative staff too everybody's so helpful so friendly that they make you feel at home so I would advise to meet everybody and uh, yeah, hear a little bit of, from the students too. <laughs> um, I'd say it's like there's parts that are going to be hard, but don't give up. Just push through. Lean on your peers. Lean on your teachers because they're there to help you for a reason. I guess another thing is don't be scared to make new friends. Like at the end, like we, I felt like we became such a good family. Like, and we've really helped each other. Like, that's like the biggest thing too. I think my advice would be work hard, um, be yourself, and like follow your dreams because that's really important. I think following your dream is like something that requires a lot of courage and a lot of help, like not just from us but from the people who love us. And I think that I remember Dr. Straub said in last last year graduation that like graduation is not about us, but about the people who helped us, like help us along the way. So I think this is the same thing here at Newman. So I think the if you actually want something, like I think I suggest you just like have courage to follow it, because people here will try to help you and make it happen. Um, sometimes it can be intimidating to reach out to your professor or just the idea of that before you come to Newman might sound intimidating, but with staff and faculty, professors, everyone at Newman, they're really just open to uh, making sure you're there and supported. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a university without students. If you don't feel happy with your major right now, don't be afraid to switch, even if it's in your junior year or senior year. Like, find what's the best route for you and don't be afraid to fail or change. Definitely say that even though Newman is so small, the having the small classes and relationships is so much more worth it than doing that big, doing the big university lecture room. It's a lot more meaningful, and you'll gain a lot more from your experience, experience college experience with that. Um, just keep working, keep pushing forward. Have a good support system. You can make it through it. Yeah, um, my advice to them would be to make sure that you're doing all that you can. Take advantage of every opportunity that comes and be sure to thank and work with your uh, professors in the respective fields closely. They want nothing but your success.
congratulations to the class of 2023 and thank you so much for sharing those amazing tips with us. To listen to more episodes of the Newman Bond podcast, visit newmanu.edu slash podcast. Thank you.